Well, hello. This is my first video tutorial on geometry, so we won't go too in-depth into anything, but it'll give you a basic idea for, I guess, your first lesson. Um, first thing I'm going to draw here is a point. just looks like a dot. And the thing about points is that they don't have any dimension at all, so if we were to zoom in on it, um, it doesn't get any bigger, you see. Uh, that's because it's just infinitely small. So, well now I have two points, I don't need two. And there's our axis again, that's... those are all tenths, and then now we're down to the one scale again. So, to draw another point, I'm going to illustrate the second big concept of geometry. A line. Alright, we're going to connect these points as straight as I can. And then, to show that this goes on forever, I cap it off with arrows. And that doesn't mean that this point isn't on the line, because if we um, see it this way, it just keeps going on forever. And it, it extends off the edge of reality. If you're trying to measure something against the line, you're never going to run out of line. It'll just go on all the way over to here. It's actually that long. Um, so any number of points can be on a line, and if you have at least two points, you can define a line. So if we say there was a point up here, and then we connect it to that other line, sort of, let's just say it goes through, then we have another line. Uh, and if you have any three points, then you have yourself a plane. So I'm going to draw three points. It doesn't matter where this third one is. We already have a line. And then if I add another third point any place like over here, then we can connect them all and have a plane. Um, I'm going to try to add this plane for you. It's too small right now to, to do what we want, so we'll make it bigger. And now you can see it intersects all three points perfectly. And if we added another point up higher, we could conceivably rotate this plane and have it intersect all three, but that's a little tricky with the software I'm using. You can take my word for it. Going back to this plane now. Planes also go on forever and ever, and they're not actually square because they go on past the points of what can be seen. So if we just scale this up, that's more like what a plane looks like. You can't see any kind of shape, it's just... it goes on and on and on. So we'll get it back to a more manageable size. And I'm going to draw some more planes, so first I'll color code it. Let's make it blue. And then if I add a second plane here, I have to scale it up also. And then I'm going to rotate it. And it doesn't matter what angle I use, but I'll, I'll get something s al almost 90 degrees. So if I look straight at this one, then the question is, where do these planes intersect? And it's easy to see in three dimensions, because I can do this and move it around. Um, that's mostly why I'm making these. I think it's hard to visualize three-dimensional things as two-dimensional pictures. So the question that they always ask is, where do these intersect? And obviously it's not up here. Um, the answer that they're trying to pay, the, the point they're trying to make by answering is that it's a line. It's a line that goes right across here where they meet. And again, that's a line in three dimensions. If you look at it from the back, the line's still there. Any place. The line also goes on forever, and you might, maybe if you're a smart kid, you're asking, hey, it doesn't really intersect there, but of course, planes go on forever, so it does intersect all the way. It's a line that goes on forever. Next thing is, if I throw in another plane, and this one I'm also going to color code, 
red plane. And then I'll rotate this at another weird angle. I won't even make this close to 90. I'll just make it ugly angle. And now we have a whole nother set of lines going on. There's one down here, and there's uh, between the red and the blue another one. But the point I'm trying to make here is where do all three planes intersect? You can see there's two of them intersecting here, two of them here, two of them there. All three of them only intersect at one point. And of course, if we zoom in what it would actually look like if they weren't squares, if they were actual planes, then all you would see is just sort of three triangles, no matter how you looked at it. And again, that point is infinitely small. I think that's about all you need to know. I can rotate any of these planes. It'll still be true. So there you go. That's lesson one on geometry. That's points, lines, and planes. See you in the next video.